This lab focuses on determining the overall heat transfer coefficient for a shell and tube heat exchanger in both co-current and counter-current flow. Before beginning the experiment, it is important to properly align your valves to either co-current or counter-current flow based on the labeling and understanding the pathways of the water. Here is the configuration for co-current flow, and here is the setup for the counter-current flow. Also, most instruments are labeled for whether they are associated with hot or cold water, but a general rule of thumb is that equipment on the left hand side is for hot water while equipment on the right is for cold water. To begin the experiment, you will want to open up your two main water valves so that water can flow into the system. Next, you would want to open up your flow control valves using a wrench resulting in an increase in flow rate displayed here as well as on the digital flow rate monitors once they are powered on. Once the system is running, temperature probes connected to the Arduino device along with the Arduino software will be used to record temperature readings. Make sure to install the Arduino software and have at least one lab member pack a laptop capable of connecting a USB type A prior to arriving. Once the Arduino software is open and the device is connected, go to the Tools tab and make sure the board and port are labeled Arduino Uno and the programmer is set to AVR ISP Mark II. Then click Get Board Info and make sure a window pops up and press OK. Next, go to the Sketch tab and select Upload. To verify that the upload was successful, Check the bottom of the window to see whether the upload is complete. If yellow lines instead of white text is seen, it indicates that something went wrong. To monitor temperature values from all the probes, go to the Tools tab and select Serial Plotter. A common error that occurs during this step is that the graph's y-axis has too high of a temperature, in this case being 240 degrees. Another possible error is that additional temperature probes are accounted for as seen by the six colored blocks in the top right corner of the graph. If either of these errors occur, simply close the serial plotter and reopen it until the y-axis is within a reasonable range and there are only four colored blocks that account for the four temperature probes. Once your plotter is properly running, you will see four lines displaying temperature values from each probe. You can then exit out of the plotter, go back under the Tools tab, and select Serial Monitor which should show the quantitative temperature values from each probe. Note that the order of the values from left to right corresponds with the order of the color blocks on the previously shown serial plotters legend. You can also use the show timestamp feature to display the time of each data set. Through the use of both the serial plotter and serial monitor features, students should confirm that the temperature profiles have reached steady state before taking their final temperature readings. After the initial trial, students should repeat the data collection steps at different flow rates for both hot and cold water streams, making sure to have at least one flow rate where the tube side flow is laminar. Once all your temperature and flow rate data is collected, you may begin the shutdown procedure. Begin by closing the flow control valves aligning the labeled zero lines, and making sure that both the traditional and digital flow meters read zero. Next, close your hot water valve first, allowing for just the cold water to run through the system for a few minutes to cool off the entire apparatus. Finally, after a few minutes have passed, close the cold water valve and clean up your lab station.